Hello Kaiju fans of all kinds, I'm here to do another collection kind of video, but this time it's a little different because it's not Kaiju related or Godzilla related, it's actually Star Wars. Because I was thinking with the soon upcoming release of Star Wars Episode 7 on December 18th, I do my Star Wars collection of a bunch of Star Wars stuff I have, pretty much all of it I think. Most of it's Legos, but there's some other stuff in there. So, without further ado... Let's begin! <clears throat> Ugh, I'm a little sick, kind of. Oh well, it is that time of year-ish. I just gotta get something nicely buried under here. So th I'm not doing it in any chronolo chronological order like I usually do, I'm just kinda doing it randomly. First thing I'm gonna show is, I got this at Salem the first year I went. Uh, movie, it's like, what they call it? Some kind of movie poster. I don't know, but it's pretty big. For Return of the Jedi, and it's really cool. It's like some weird colors. I don't know. There's a bunch of them there, with like other stuff than Star Wars. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I got that. It's pretty cool. All right. Next thing I'll show is simply well the DVDs. I guess I have them all. Not really too much to say. Got these two, uh, Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. Uh, on bullmoose.com, along with Godzilla vs. Megalon, because I did an unboxing video on that. So, I'm just going to move up the camera a little bit. There we go. Don't want to have to reach all the way over. This is actually pretty far reach. So, got those two. Sorry about the glare in the Phantom Menace, but... Then a long time ago, before I even like liked Star Wars, I got a box set of the rest. With Revenge of the Sith, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, my favorite, and the Return of the Jedi. Come on. <clears throat> so, yeah, I got a box set with those. Just kind of make some room. Just kind of put them like that. Alright. Next, I'll do some more DVD. This is my only Lego game I have on disc. Actually, that's not true, but. Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, it's pre-owned, really fun Lego game, really fun game in general, actually. Had this for a while, almost done with it. Like, I finished story mode, I'm almost like 100% complete with the game, so I'll just put that there, I guess. You know I have all the Star Wars movies, so. Anyway, next, let's see here. Um, yeah, I'll show these. Got these at Salem, wait, no? Actually, no, I got these at P-Town. About how many years ago? I don't remember how many years, but this is really cool. Got some coasters. Got Boba Fett, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi, and Darth Vader. It's really cool. Just kind of put them up like that, I guess. Can't see them all. Can only see Boba Fett, but whatever. Alright. Now there's pretty much just Lego stuff left. So I guess I'll show one of those. This set here, I got quite, like, let's see. I got this at Christmas at some time ago. <laughs> the Lego Star Wars. I don't even remember what the sets are called, because I haven't got any Legos in, like, so long. But it's the set with Count Dooku and everyone else. I don't know. Should have come, came with Anakin and Obi-Wan, but it didn't. Yeah, I should really look up the facts on these. I don't remember what the sets are called. But, yeah, this is a pretty cool Lego set. Comes with Yoda. This thing. That thing. Count Dooku. And this thing. Yeah, as you can tell... Sorry about that, my phone died. Battery died. But, yeah, I'm not the... Big, like I was saying, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. Like, I, I'm a really big fan of Star Wars, but I'm not, like, a, like a genius on it. Like, I don't know a lot of stuff. Well, there, I do know a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of stuff I don't know. But I'm blabbering, so I'll just go on to this next thing real quick, which is actually using a Lego. But it's, like, some sort of little action figure. It's Anakin when he was a boy, like, from The Phantom Menace. just kind of found this when I was digging through my closet. Don't really know when I got it, or why I got it, or how I have it. I just don't really know where it came from. <laughs> so I just kind of put it there, I guess. 
Alright, my phone is actually plugged in right now, so it keeps tilting. Alright, let's see. Next, I'll do this. My Probably one of my favorites out of here. The Lego X-Wing Starfighter. I don't... There's been a few releases of this, so I don't know which exact one it is. It's one of the newer ones. Came with Luke with his lightsaber and R2-D2, which actually has a piece stuck to his foot. Not supposed to go in here. Fix it later. So yeah, he fell over. His feet aren't straight. There we go. And this is the one that also came with... God dang it. I hit the charger. I hate these iPhones. They suck. Uh, Jack Porkins, I think that's his name. Jeff Porkins, I don't know. And whatever this little droid is. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I don't know a lot of the names and stuff. But yeah, that's a really cool set. I recommend getting it. Before it gets way too expensive. Actually, it might already be too expensive, but, you know, who knows. A lost Jack Porkins blaster gun, whatever you want to call it. Alright, let me move it back a little bit. Yeah, you can't see a lot of stuff. I'll pan out at the end. Alright, next we'll do this. Another Lego set is the Lego Spider Droid. That's what they think they call it, Spider Droid. Yeah, see, I don't I don't know a lot of this stuff. I'm more into Godzilla than I am in Star Wars, but, you know, Star Wars is still badass. So it came with a little other Spider Droid. Whatever this Jedi lady is. Clone. And... Destroyer droids? I don't know. I think that's what they're called. But, I, like I said, I don't know a lot of this crap. Anyway, uh, this guy's legs don't stand very well, so that's the one problem. Let's see, he's gonna fall over. I'll put him over here. So, yeah, there's my dog behind me. Just kinda. Yeah, this isn't very organized now, is it? I'll have to wait till my phone runs out of memory so I can organize everything. Crap, you know what? I have a better idea. Okay, so I am all set up, but they're on the sides. So at the end, I'll pan out and just do a recap of everything. That's an easier idea. Right, let's start with this one. Well, not start, but continue. The droid escape. That's what it's called, right? I'm pretty sure that's what set's called. We got with the uh, escape pod from the beginning of A New Hope. Blurry. Let me just zoom in. I mean, uh, focus. These iPhones are pieces of garbage. Oh my god, there we go. Okay, I got it, finally. Alright, so it came with two sand stormtroopers. General, I'm pretty sure that's what the orange is. And then, when this guy's like, look, droids. A speeder. And then, the R2-D2 and C-3PO. And the escape pod. Come on, there we go. Alright, so this will just plop in the middle. Alright. My feet are squeaking on the floor because we just recently cleaned it. Now it's squeaky clean. Except for up here where it's a little dusty and stuff, but oh well. Alright, I'll just do this real quick. My, this is the last non-Lego thing, my lightsaber. Pretty cool. It doesn't close all the way, which is kind of stupid. But... Like, this one piece doesn't close. Like, it's not stuck, it's just not meant to do that, which is really dumb. But it's still cool. You gotta pull it out like that. Make sound. I'm supposed to do that. There we go. So that's pretty cool. Just kind of put that over here. Like I said, I'll pan out at the end and recap everything. Alright, then, now we're just on to the last bunch of Lego stuff. I will do these in chronological order. They're all pretty much the same, except different. These are the Buildable Galaxy series from Lego. I'll just quickly do these, I guess. I got the Death Star and the TIE Interceptor with the TIE Interceptor pilot. So, yeah, for these I'll put off to the side and organize in a minute. Then... Once I got a pretty big order of them, I got like three at Toys R Us. Um, Yavin 4 and X-Wing Starfighter and the X-Wing Starfighter Pilot. Or X-Wing Pilot, whatever. Uh, what did I get next here? I got him, same, at Toys R Us. I got, uh, oops, wrong planet. 
the asteroid field and the TIE bomber, TIE bomber pilot. And the same last one of those I got at Toys R Us. Um, Forest Moon Aventor, ATST, and the ATST pilot. Crap fell over. Okay. Here's our planet Coruscant, and the clone, and I don't even remember what this thing is. Dropship? I don't know. Don't remember. Your hair gross. Alright. So now I'll quickly organize it. Alright. So this is a bit different from my other collection videos, but now, because using my camera is just stationary, but now, well, phone. I'll just do a pan and I'll restate everything I have. So the five buildable galaxies that I have, uh, Coruscant and that thing, Force Moon of Endor and the ATST, TIE Bomber and the Asteroid Field. Alright, X Wing Starfighter, why are you blurring out like that? X Wing Starfighter and Yavin 4. It's a little dark because I usually flip that table up, but it's got Halloween stuff on it, like Halloween decorations, so I can't. TIE Interceptor and Death Star, the Spider Droid, and uh, all the characters down there, the thing. You know, from Attack of the Clones, with Count Dooku in it, and Yoda. But, the four coasters, Boba Fett, Han Solo, Luke, and Darth Vader. Why is it so blurry? Holy crap. Little Anakin figure. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Uh, the prequel trilogy. Normal, the original trilogy. The, uh, Return of the Jedi movie poster. I think they're the posters a long time ago that they used to put at like theaters to know to make you know, let you know that it's coming out soon. George Escape Lego set, Lego X Wing Starfighter, and my lightsaber. So let me back up a little bit, like a lot, so I can see everything. That was so can't see everything. That was my Star Wars collection. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys enjoy Episode Seven. I most likely will. Because I have low expectations, but... Like, I'm not saying it's supposed to... Like, just because Star Wars has low expectations, but I don't want a remake... I don't want a rerun of The Phantom Menace, you know? So I'm not going in with high expectations. But, I mean, with The Phantom Menace, for me, it was okay. Because I wasn't, you know... Actually, I wasn't even born at the time it came out, so I wasn't super hyped for it. And then, disappointed. It was just kind of meh. But, let's not talk about that now. Maybe I'll do Star Wars reviews, I don't know, probably not, but maybe when I get a better camera. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my Star Wars collection, and see you later.